Hello, and welcome to Making Waves by Todderbert. If you enjoy kit building, making electronic circuits, and other do-it-yourself projects, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon to miss any of my most awesome videos. In front of us, we have IC stations number 13072. This is a do-it-yourself computer game machine kit. <laughs> yes, when you get done with this, you can play, I believe it's Tetris, Snake, Plane, and Racing games on it. Um, I thought it was a pretty cool kit. I picked it up from IC Station for a total of 15 bucks, and it gives you quite a bit of components here. Here's the uh, model number, a little Chinese writing. Let's go ahead and open this up and see what we get inside the bag. Yeah, this is a fun one. <laughs> it's not a million LEDs, which is nice. It's got kind of an array set up. Go ahead and take everything out of here. Give you a nice little enclosure, it looks like. Okay, I think that is everything in the bag. Okay, right away we'll look at this. Uh, we've got a microcontroller. The information on there. I don't know if you guys can read that. There we go. Looks like we got a score counter. We got a socket for that chip. That's nice. In the back sounds like we have our displays, little LED arrays. Nice. Very cool. In the bag, we got a power cord. We have some buttons, some momentary switches, power switch. Uh, looks like I am seeing more switches, buttons. Just looking there, so I got some mounting hardware. We have a speaker. All right, it's got music. Yeah, rock on. <laughs> and uh, let's see, what does this look at? A power jack, USB power jack, nice. And a capacitor. So you go, pretty basic components. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this kit because I think I can put this together relatively quickly. So that'll be nice. And then, of course, looks like we have some of the Enclosure parts, top, bottom, sides. Okay, pretty straightforward there. Um, I always like seeing that with a kit. $15 kit's not too bad. Here's the PCB. And here it looks like the front, giving you the orientation marks for those LED arrays. MCU, score counter, our speaker, looks like power jacks, um, more switches. Okay, this is a directional pad, nice. MCU Palm game. All right, looking forward to this. Uh, you know, they have quality PCBs, nice and thick, rounded edges. Uh, it's going to be a really fun build. There we are. So let's go ahead and I'll just pull this back on here. I'm going to slide this off and we're going to look at the file. They don't really have a PDF you can download, so you has got to use their website. I always like to do this on camera. So just in case the instructions are lost, you have it on this video. So let's bring in the iPad here. Here you can see it says do-it-yourself game toy creative electronics experiment kit MCU computer game machine with protective shell. All right, there's the names Tetris Snake Plane Racing. And you can see you get a discount if you buy 300 of them. <laughs> um, okay, so here's a showing you the parts. I just went over. Yeah, pretty much. It's a pretty basic setup. Looking forward to this. I'm playing it. Uh, let's see, here is the bill of materials, I believe. Oh, it's coming up, maybe. Yeah, hold on a second. Yeah, this is okay. This is just going over the basics. Let's see, here's the bill of materials. Features, okay, well, cool. Yeah, dot matrix is the LEDs. Golden PCB, looks more exquisite. All right. <laughs> There's the controller high speed and high speed. <laughs> yeah. I love that. High speed, high speed. Oh, humanized keypad arrangement. Humanized. Gotta remember that. Gotta love that. Nice descriptions. Okay, we got a buzzer, capacitor, micro, micro USB, white switch, touch switches, the lattice. Okay. Um, Nixie tube, really? I don't think so. 30 millimeter. Okay. Um, here you go. That must be the LED score display. Um, okay, so that's pretty much it for the bill materials. Here is the steps to put this together. Again, there's a nice little blow up here. Looks like they're showing you putting the switches in first. The socket, the speaker. Looks like a really straightforward setup. I'm really liking this. Uh, let's see. Warning. Don't install the lattice wrong. It is hard to uninstall it. <laughs> I can imagine. So, yeah, we got to be careful we get that in properly. Start of the switches. Okay. Pay attention. And, okay, it's got a notch for the switch. Again, all pretty straightforward. Uh, warm tips. <laughs> oh, this is great. Uh, instructions. Okay, here you go. 
Uh, hit a plane. Awesome. Um, music switch. Okay, cool. All right, and there's a picture of the finished product. And I think we're pretty much done. This is a pretty straightforward build. Like I said, it looks like it's going to be a fun one. Um, when we're done, we're going to have a cool game. All right, so let's go ahead and move this. Oh, somebody else already reviewed this. What? No way, dude. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and move that off. There you go for posterity. Yeah, 15 bucks. Looking forward to this. This is definitely not your LED display kit. This is actually interactive. You can actually play this thing when you're done. I am looking forward to that. That's going to be great. Everything looks pretty straightforward. And yeah, I would say this build time will probably be under an hour. Yeah, easily under an hour. So I think the longest steps will probably be putting this together. Alrighty, well there we are. Um, we'll go ahead and put the 13072 IC station kits together. I'll buy the links to the below here for this kit if you're interested in it. And uh, yeah, when I come back we'll have pictures of the build process and we'll demo this little unit and see if I'm a, a gaming pro. We'll find out. Alright guys, we'll be back in a moment. Here are pictures of the build process. In the first step, I populated the PCB with six momentary switches, a 40 pin IC socket, piezo speaker, and a mini USB power jack. Next, I added the power switch and LED arrays. Note orientation of both. Make sure that the arrays are square and not shifted after tacking them in place. For the third step, I populated the board with one 3x8 segmented display, one electrolytic capacitor, and inserted the 40 pin microcontroller into the IC socket. Check for proper orientation, make sure you don't have any bent pins. The last step, I took and added the button tops to the switches. You may find a little excess plastic on the bottom of these caps, just take a small X Acto knife and remove that. So let's go in front of us. The IC station 13072 completed. Yes, this is a great little project, $15 well spent. Uh, it is fun to play this, <laughs> having a great time. Uh, you get five games on it, Tetris, Snake, Race, Fighter. <laughs> I know they sound like generic um, names, slots, number five. Uh, but they're fun to play, most of them. The slots, I'm not sure what's going on with that, you know, if I'm winning or losing, but uh, it is fun nonetheless. So let's look at how the build went. So here you got the momentary switches. Got six plus the power switch there. So you see how that works, little caps. And uh, yeah, it went up pretty nice. Um, yeah, I had a little bit of excess plastic right in those edges of the clip that goes to the switch. Trim those off so those line up nicely when you put them on. There's our 40 pin microcontroller. You know, you can program that. There's a spot over here where you can put a header in. And there's even a spot where you can run wires to it. I thought that was pretty neat. So you could program this if you had some skills. Rock on. There's our speaker, power switch. There's our USB mini jack for power. And those two little small connections to solder that in. You gotta be real careful. See those two little points? That's probably the two little spots of the hardest point. Just take your time, maybe a little extra flux there to help it out. But that's the back of the board, give you an idea. Pretty simple setup. Um, this was nice having a separate socket. You don't have to worry about overheating the chip. You can just start soldering those pins with no problem at all. I like that. And then the arrays. You know, it's nice and square. If these are tilted in any way, when you go like this, you'll notice that they're off. So you'll make sure they're nice and straight because they're two separate blocks. There's a little numeric display, which actually this keeps count. I think it keeps last score settings. It's kind of nice. Yeah, the segmented display is a nice hit score counter. Um, these are really clicky. So when I do a demo, you're gonna hear that. Their power switch. And then this nice little enclosure. I really like this acrylic enclosure they included for 15 bucks. This is great. I'll have links below. Definitely if you're into making projects, and you want a little solder experience, this is the one to buy. 15 bucks gets you a lot of fun and something you can actually use over and over. I find myself plugging it in and wanting to see if I can beat my high score. Now, the neat thing about this is you could probably get a little small power bank, a little bit of Velcro, and then you get yourself a portable system. <laughs> yeah, I know it's a bit much, but hey, what the heck. So let's go ahead and plug it in and demo this guy. So I got my USB connection right here. Let's go ahead and plug that in. Oh, I should probably do dimensions. Let's do dimensions real quick. Yeah, <laughs> three and a quarter inches across, uh, four and a quarter inches long, and a case depth of three quarters of an inch. And we'll bring out Iron Man. He's the man with the master plan. He can do it like no one can. He loves uh, games from China land. <laughs> there you go. That's pretty cool. All right, there it is. So let's go plug this in. 
Make sure power is off. And uh, let's see, doing this on camera. Plugs right in. All right. Um, you know what? They gave us extra parts. Uh, I had one extra. See, I'm using my own cable, so the cable's in here. But I got one extra standoff with a screw. That was nice. That in case they didn't put enough, you have enough there for the board. So that's the only extra parts I got: a screw and a standoff. Okay. So let's go ahead and fire this up. Turning it on. You greet it with a one. Now I might turn the lights off so you can see it better. This is the Tetris game, and to scroll the different games, you just hit the left and right buttons. This is game two. This is uh, called Snake. <laughs> I kind of suck at it. <laughs> Take some skill. Um, this is a race game. It's a car. These are cars you're passing. These are side of the road. And every time you pass a marker, your score goes up. And this might this my score, 182. Not too bad. Yeah. Uh, next is a shooter game. Um, it counts how many these little... Uh, I don't know, dots you save <laughs> before it hits your ship. Uh, and it kind of, it's your score. So it's pretty easy to get a high score on this. And then of course you got slots. Um, again, no idea what numbers give you what. Uh, so it's kind of wild. But that's my high score, I guess, 113. And then over here we have settings. And this is kind of cool. This is, I'm trying to show you this here. And I'll turn the lights off. This is a brightness setting. So you just press and hold. You'll see it get dim. Press and hold. Get our brightness back. And then there's one more setting, the uh, sound. You can actually turn the sound off. So you hit that button there, and you can turn the sound on and off. We'll leave it on, and if it's annoying, we'll turn it off later. Uh, so let's go ahead and see how Tetris works here. We'll go ahead and start it. I don't remember these buttons now. I think it's bottom start. Okay, so there's your little piece, and you can hit this button to change direction. Put it in place. Just like playing Tetris old school. Yeah. It has a little bit of a lockup sound for until it gets going. All right, you get the idea, right? Fun. Let's see if I can get one line scored. <laughs> That'd be nice. Yeah, the clicks can be annoying, um, but there you go. Hey, one sweet. You can pause it. There it is. Pause. It's kind of nice. In this game, I think it pauses. Uh, other games, um, there's like Turbo. So let's go ahead and. Demo the other game. So I'm going to go ahead and just kill this one. All right. And then I think uh, select OK for new game. We're going to go to uh, Snake. <laughs> there it is. So that's you. You got to touch that light. OK, now I got to go over to that spot. Oh, crap. Yeah, hit the wall. <laughs> like I said, I'm not very good at Snake. <laughs> Let's go turn the lights off for the next game. Let me... Uh, Let's go to uh, the race car game. I'll turn the lights off since I can do this in the dark. Shouldn't be too hard. This will be fun. There it is. Oh, sweet looking. Yeah. <laughs> it's like seven minutes of this. I love it. Hey, why not? It's it's a joy. Uh, so, yeah, let's start this up. Oops, there we go. Yep, that's the drone of your race engine. <laughs> and then there's turbo. Hold on. Oh, smashed into that car in front of me. Okay, you get the idea. <laughs> All right, 40, yeah, awesome. I usually do better. All right, let's, let's finish demoing this. Let's see what else I got on here. Uh, let's see, that was a race car. Ah, uh, shooter. Shooter's fun, so let's go ahead and shoot some stuff. So, let's, uh, there it is. Yeah, that's awesome. So that's just ship, and you're shooting this falling stuff. Not quite like Missile Command, but you get it. Bring it. It gets faster. It's harder, too. <laughs> I could be taken the wrong way. You know what I'm doing. Yeah, but anyway, 15 bucks. I'll have links below. This game thing is awesome. This is like the best little kit besides building a radio. You get a little bit of a reward for building this. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to let this kill me here. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's how that is. And then the, the slot machine. Yeah, I don't think we have to do that. It's pretty weird. doesn't really do a whole lot. Yeah, okay. You guys probably going to want to see it now. Um, I guess you spin it. Um, okay. 
I guess I'm spending credits to spin it. Wow, <laughs> it's not even sound. All right, so yeah. Oh, there we go, I won one. I don't know what the deal is. I'm supposed to match it with that number. I'm guessing that might be what it is. I don't know, but that, that's what that is. It's pretty boring, uh, but there, there it is. <laughs> the IC station, 13072. Oh, let's go back to demo mode, turn that off. Turn that back on. It's kind of cool, it has a little demo. So it shows things going on. Uh, so yeah, there it is, the 13072 Do-It-Yourself Computer Game Machine Kit. I like that name. It sounds awesome. Um, if you enjoyed the video, give me a big thumbs up. You guys are great. This is, like I said, this is the most fun I've had building a kit because uh, it's so rewarding, and it's actually something you can use. It's something you can sit down on the couch and have fun with. Um, if it's on Amazon, I'll try to find links to Amazon for this one. You might pay a little extra for it, of course, but that's convenience fee. Uh, otherwise, you wait for the slow boat from China. It takes about three to six weeks. That's always a joy. Uh, so there you go. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, support me. Those links actually take you to IC Station or Amazon and their affiliate links. And it helps me to buy more of these kits to review and show you. And you, know, you might want to build one of these for the heck of it, for fun. you know. And then you can give this away to a you know grandkid if you don't want to play it or keep it for yourself. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, two, if you enjoy kit building, uh, do-it-yourself projects. Hit the bell, uh, hit the subscribe, hit the bell icon, get notified of future videos. I play in quite a bit. Um, actually, I enjoy crafting and building, and uh, I have some ideas for things, and I'm hopefully uh, bring it to the channel, and hopefully you can add to the radio programming, uh, give you a little insight, building, repairing radios, um, and, and why we're doing all this together. Uh, and three, of course, comment below what you think about the IC Station 13072 uh, computer game machine kit. Would you buy it for 15 bucks? Do you think it's worth it? Um, I think it's worth the 15 bucks. A uh, great little kit. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.